How are you doing? I hope everybody, hope you're alright. I've come back to Skeggy, can you believe it? Because it's been, it's been on my mind, it's been playing on my mind. So we came last week, me and Helen. Well, you'll have seen the video, and I asked them bikers, and as it happens, the lovely biker who recommended the pub, Fish and Chips, he's called Mark, and he's from Barnsley, because his friends commented on the last video. So, hello, Mark. And uh, thanks for your recommendation. But, like an idiot, uh, and I'm going to put you that clip on first. They'll know where the best fish and chips are. Do you guys know where the best fish and chip shops are? It's... We've just been in a Oh, beauty. nice one. It's just a pub down there, mate, about... Can you see it's the sign nice. for it? Right. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a pub and a restaurant and yeah. fish and chips to die for. Love it. Yeah. Nice one. In. Thank you, we'll try <laughs> that. Thank you. So, if you saw that video... Uh, like an idiot or like idiots we didn't listen to what Mark recommended and we had some terrible fish and chips probably the worst ones we've ever had uh, so it's yeah it's been playing on my mind we should have gone to a pub but I never get fish and chips from a pub well I do sometimes but they just don't feel like proper fish and chips but then the comments I've had from you guys saying you should have gone to fish and chip you know to jolly fisherman to a pub so I thought do you know what I'm coming back. So I've had my daughter today. We've had a Toby Carvery. <laughs> That's all I've had all day though. And then I've, I've picked her up from school, had a Toby Carvery, dropped her uh, back to her mum's at half past six and I've just more or less drove straight down. It's about five to 11 now. I, I did stop and have a rest on the way down. Uh, so yeah, here I am, I'm going to Hopefully, I'm gonna get just get my head down now because I don't know if I'll sleep much here. I might have to move. I don't feel 100% about this spot, but it's completely legal. It says on the sign, but there's just it's a bit deserted, and I'm more or less there's just one other van, but it's it's not like a camper van, so there's just me, and uh, I don't know. I've just got a bit of a feeling about it. There's a McDonald's at the end here. I think it's a 24-hour McDonald's. You probably get boy races and stuff, but people will be going in there and probably parking here and that, so it might be a bit loud. We'll see. Right, just jumped in van quick, moved away from that spot. It's about quarter to two or something like that. What were I thinking, staying near a McDonald's, a 24 hour McDonald's? Must be an idiot. But there were some like kids screaming not kids you know like 20 odd year old drunk and it was so rowdy having an argument and i thought they'll probably start you know the right at side of the van so i just got out quick and uh, i've drove around the corner morning well it's 10 to 9 so i've had a lie-in but uh yeah i had to move it middle at night because they're noisy people. I'll show you where I've moved to. You can't see that's a bit bright. So I'm actually on the street where I parked with Helen the other day. But it was on a bit of a slope, a bit of a camber. But I got used to it in the end. Anyway, there's a Morrison's right corner, so I'm gonna to go to Morrison's, use the facilities, freshen up, and uh, then decide what I'm gonna do. tell you what that were a really close shave then so I, I nearly got done for shoplifting I went in and I got a leg of lamb and put it under my arm and I'm walking out and the security guard says what are you doing with that leg of lamb I says uh, probably roast potatoes and vegetables it's <laughs> nice you know I went to Starbucks the other day this is not a joke What's all that about? Starbucks? They just stand around and you're waiting forever. Just make, I only wanted a black coffee. It took 15 minutes for a chuffing black coffee. And then it was about four quid. So I'm sticking to onesie van now. I'll tell you what, the only time to use Starbucks is get one of their expensive coffees and sit there all afternoon on a laptop. You know, when I'm editing and stuff, I use their power and their Wi-Fi and everything. <laughs> Get me money's worth then, don't I? I think that's why coffees are so expensive. Because they're all there. 
you know, like yuppies, not yuppies, you know, like them type of people, like nomads, whatever, I don't know. You know, the sort of people that say, I'm going to reach out, or I'm thinking out of the box, some blue sky thinking, it's all them people, and they sat in rows on the laptops in Starbucks. I felt like one of them when I was there the other day. Anyway, I need to get a wash. Just finish off with the old beauty regime. <laughs> you got to do it when you get to my age. I'll tell you what. So I've got some like beard, whatever it is. I want to grow a beard, but it never seems to work. And it's because it goes all right bushy and I look like Uncle Albert. So I've read up on it and you need some like beard softener and stuff and you need to brush it. So that's what I've been doing. I'll probably change my mind again. It'll probably get too unruly. And I keep trimming it. But it's looking a bit better. And I put some of that dye on it. <laughs> Don't judge me. You know that dye? Uh, that control. It's not dye. It's like from just for men. But it's not dye. It like does something and you wash your beard with it. And uh, it sort of darkens it, it does some sort of magic. It's paint tinted, this thing, and it is making it darker. But I don't want to go too dark, because then I think, I think I look really camp. And I don't want to do that. And I can only do that when I go to the gym for a shower, because it's a bit messy. So, yeah. Nice cup of coffee that, clean my cup out. Just got to brush my teeth. And then uh, I'm going to have a walk around Skegney. Skegney Vegas. Mega Skeggy. Costa del Skeg. Yeah, I'm about to buy a mirror. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Oh, that's Helen. Helen's ringing. She rings me all the time. She's a stalker. I know. Hello, my darling. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. You always phone me when I'm vlogging. Do I? Yeah, you're when live. I'm you're live. Am I? Yeah. Am I on speaker? Yeah. So don't swear. I never swear. I know you don't. I'm only kidding. Don't yeah. say out about subscribers. Don't go slagging them off like you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm kidding. That's me. I love everybody. <laughs> you do love everyone. Anyway, I'll stop recording so we can have a conversation. Just okay. bear with me. Sorry about that. That was the executive producer there just checking in on me. Uh, one thing I need to mention before I forget. If you remember in our Norwich video, we were kindly sponsored by Exeter, uh, which is the wallet company and they do all sorts of gadgets and stuff. Absolutely love their products. I've got the wallet, as I've said before, I use this all the time, it's my main wallet, is the extra wallet, because it's the, the pop-up thing. Now, I mentioned in that video, she's ringing me again, she's forgot something. I can't remember what I was saying now, before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> uh, in that Norwich video, I was talking about a product that Exeter have, which is a card, it's like a card shape, like a credit card thing and it fits in your wallet and it allows you to locate your wallet anywhere in the world and I said it's that good this product I'm considering going to Apple because it's only available on Apple well guess what I was wrong weren't I it's not it's available on Android and the chaps at Exeter have sent me one and that's it it's a little card and I have now got it in my wallet and that goes there and it's absolutely brilliant so what you do is you can go on the app on Android, it's called Chipolo, and you can bring a map up and see wherever you're, uh, see it anywhere. So if you've left it somewhere or you think it's been stolen, you can track it. But the other beautiful thing about it is if it's in the house, you know, like you can't find your wallet, you just ring it and you press this button here, ring to find, and it rings. How good's that? And that's my wallet ringing. There's even a tenor in it up. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Stop ringing. 
and you can also do it the other way around if you can't find your phone but you've got your wallet you can ring your phone from your wallet how cool is that that's a great product so yeah thanks again to them for sending me one so i'm quite chuffed about that so yeah giving them a shout out uh go on their website and check them out because they've got a, a bit of a sale going on and if you use my code same code as last time you get the uh discount just in time for father's day i think when's father's day so yeah i'm all fresh i just need to brush my teeth and then i'm going to have a moot around skeggy and i'll look at some stuff that i didn't do last time you think why, why are you doing skeggy again it's because I'm, i've come for a laugh to go back to that restaurant so i can compare the fish and chips it's 11 a.m in skegness i don't know if you can see behind me but there's a lovely group of ladies and they're already on cocktails it's obviously some sort of midweek Hindu or party or celebration. Fair play, 11 a.m. cocktails. That's how we roll in Skegness. Look at that, eh? It's not just London, you know. London and Skegness. What do we reckon that is? Oh, it's a restaurant, a restaurant and carvery. And you've got the Knights of the Realm there on the top with their England shirts on. Ready for the Euros. I'm just passing time really, I'm just having a wonder until sort of lunchtime when I can go in and get this food. I'm very excited, I'm very hungry. I've had no breakfast. All I had yesterday were a carvery. Toby Carvery. I want to do a video in Toby Carvery because I'm a big fan. I have the uh, this sort of loyalty card. <laughs> it's all right. You get like free carveries and everything. And let's go and have a look here. Nature world. Nature land. Oh, it's like one of them gigs we all uh, tribute bands. In fact, I went to that last year. It was good, but when I was walking in, the woman on gate, she come running after me. She says, excuse me, you've, you've paid with a fake £10 note. I says, well, yeah, it's a fake Taylor Swift, isn't it? Eh? Eh? I'm here all week. Shall we have a look at this? Go look at some seals. Oh, look at that. It's all right in here. Busier than I thought. I thought I'd be the only person in. Look at this lad here. Oh, lass. Aren't they ears? You've got to love a meerkat, haven't you? All right, charming. two enormous butterflies flying around together. It's so beautiful. It's quite moving. They're just gliding around. Can't find them now. I'll try and get them on the other camera. That guy in the mobility scooter is cruising around the streets of Skegness, blasting out islands in the stream. Is that Kenny Rogers and uh, Dolly Parton? I think it is, isn't it? 
Anyway, I enjoyed that in there. That were nice and it was good value. And it was actually a proper seal sanctuary. Uh, so it's, it, they don't receive any sort of government funding or anything. So it all goes in protecting the seals and all the seals in there couldn't be in the wild because they've got injuries and stuff. So I liked it. So look where I am again. Same place as last week. Got your Wellies Bar, Funland, the Pleasure Beach on the back there. Now you see those rows of cars, that's where I parked last night because it's free overnight parking uh, for motorhomes as well. But big mistake being right next to a 24 hour McDonald's. I'll never fall for that again. As I walk down here, I can hear those bloody pirates. I mean, I, I weren't being too grumpy. It's just a bit loud, isn't it? So, here we are. This is it. The Jolly Fisherman. I'm going to look like an idiot filming my food in here. I only do it for you a lot. And look at that picture, beer battered fish and chips. Look at that, I wonder if they're gonna look like that. We shall have a look. Oh, it's busy already. So it's really busy in here. There's people sat all around me. So I'm gonna get some looks. But don't matter, does it? They have arrived and yeah, looks interesting. I will switch cameras and just film it so you get a good idea what they look like. You can be on if you want. Do you wanna be on? No. <laughs> no worries. I was just explaining to this lovely couple next to me what I was doing so they didn't think I were weird. I need some vinegar. So I've pinched their vinegar. First impression, the chips are not like proper chip shop chips, they're just like oven chips really. Let's try the peas. They're all right. They're better than them last week. Right, I need to break this fish up. Can you see that? So the batter looks good. I just asked the chap then and he, he confirmed that it was haddock, which I thought it was. It was very good actually, that fish. I've just finished my Guinness. But I need to head back to the van now because the uh, battery on this microphone is getting very low. So I need to uh, charge that up and uh, on the way back I will give you my proper review of the Jolly Fisherman. The bikers were right. So they were a lot nicer than fish and chips. Don't get me wrong, they weren't like proper uh, fish and chip shop fish and chips. Although the fish could have easily passed. The fish was really nice, it was haddock. And it was far better than that haddock in the pirate place. You know, if they can do it, why can't they do it in other places? The only thing that was slightly disappointing was the, uh, the chips. They were just regular sort of like oven chips. They were perfectly nice, but I think if they'd do some like if they do some like chunky chips or something like that you know some fancy triple cooked chips or something like, they'd really go to a next level because as far as pub fish and chips are concerned they were really nice so yeah mark in barnsley mark the biker in barnsley thank you very much and while i'm on the subject of bikers i want to send a big shout out to Ron and Yvonne, who 
bumped into my mum and dad in Bridlington. So people are recognising my mum and dad from my Bridlington vlog. And they said it was lovely to meet you, Ron and Yvonne. And it really made their day. And they said you're a lovely couple. So thank you for that. Right, van's just down here. I'm going to chill out in van, charge the mic up, and then we're back into town. I can't stand the rain. Guess my window. Right, it stopped raining at last. But I've been sat there for about an hour and a half. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to head into the town. I assume I can get this way. I know it's over in this direction. So I'm going to walk down this street here and see where we end up. And we'll just have a look round before I head back. So come with me. Let's see what Skeggy Town Centre's got to offer. We've got Union flags there. And we've got a massive St George Cross. They seem very patriotic to the Skegness people. And that's, all, <laughs> that's also called Churchill's. I know it's the Euros coming up, but, you know, it's good to see. <laughs> the pigeons are loving him. So it's a typical sort of British seaside town centre. You've got the mixture of the, uh, you've got your charity shops, your amusements, and then your regular shops. Nice looking coffee shop and a bar as well there. That looks nice. How many Turkish barbers we got? Is this a Turkish? Oh, that's Kurdish. They're all the same, aren't they? So we've got one there. And then we've got one straight across the road. So that's two. We'll count them on this road. I found the weather spoons. I'm not going in though, guys. Not today. I've had me one beer. But yeah, look at all the uh, St George's crosses there. So there you go, that's the weather spoons, Skeggy weather spoons. Got another Turkish barbers here. Golden scissors. That's three. And what a surprise. They're not working. There's three guys there, all on the phones. I don't know how they, did, they seem to stay open because you hardly ever see people getting their hair cut, don't you? They're all sat there on the phones. I weren't going to cross, but that lady stopped, so I were obliged. I'm not going down there. I'm going to cross here. Taxi drivers stop. Thank you. This is the place with all the uh, St George crosses and the bunting. They're all gearing up for the Euros. They'll probably be really busy. It's like a really old fashioned sort of mini department store type thing. I'm not going in. I'll spare you at charity shops. So these guys here are obviously from the Turkish barbers. So there's three, I've not seen one person. Is there one across there? Hang on. Oh, there is somebody getting a cut in there. There's somebody in that one. We've got a Yorkshire Trading Company across there. I love that shop. Oh, 
look here. Like a shopping centre. I'm just going to go to end here and then I'll come back. There's another one there as well. Lumley Shopping Plaza. Two shopping centres. Busy, really busy. I'm surprised to be honest. Oh, look at it down there. I'm going to have a walk down this street because it looks quite busy down here. See, yeah, still got Christmas trimmings up. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, they just put them up early. It's a bit quieter down this end. We are back at Weatherspoons, and it seems that we've done a loop. Well, we have done a loop. I'm going to head back down to the van and uh, get back to Barnsley. Washerman Dry. I've just done all my uh, washing, and I bet that's a lot cheaper than what I pay. I was just walking along then, and. I saw a lovely lady, uh, I don't know if she was a subscriber, I think she was, but she recognised me and uh, I asked her to come on, but like everybody else, nobody ever wants to come on, but hello Pip, it was lovely to meet you there. So I said I've only been to Skeggy twice, well I come when I were a kid I think, so that don't count. I said I've only been to Skeggy twice and that's been win like one week, eh? Can't remember where I'm part now. So here we are, back at the van, parked under a tree like a plonker. Hopefully I was in the gap so there's not much, oh there's a bit of bird poo outside there. Right, so got back to the uh, the van. Uh, I've received some really sad news from uh, a couple of subscribers, uh, Pete and Jen and uh, they've just, uh, they messaged me to tell me about Jen's brother who's sadly passed away and uh, his name is Tony Kitson and he's a regular watcher of the channel uh, and died suddenly, age 66, just as he was looking forward to retirement. So, you know, I just want to send my sincere condolences to you and, and to Tony's family. Uh, really sorry to hear about it and you know it, it puts it all into everything into context doesn't it so yeah rest in peace mate I'm honestly it's horrible to hear okay uh, yeah sorry to end this on a sombre sort of uh, note but I think we all understand that there's you know we all like a laugh and a joke but sometimes there's you know there's obviously more to life than than just I don't know I don't know anyway I'm sending you lots of love uh, Pete and Jen and uh, to Tony's family all right thanks for watching the video everybody I will see you in the next one and uh, take care and I'll see you there